Hey guys, and welcome back for more Super Paper Mario, and I'm going to go ahead and start off the first world, since the last video was just all introductory stuff. And here you see Count Black talking to some of his minions. Uh, the big one is called, uh, his name is uh, O-Chunks. Him. That's Demencho. And then this one that appears late. It's not O-Chunks twin. Because he doesn't have twin. Oh yeah, that is the real O-Chunks. But the one that I told you was O-Chunks before is really... If she would stop shape-shifting. Um, I'll introduce her when... Oh, that little girl uh, girl by Count Black is... Um, Nastasia, by the way. She's like his secretary. Kind of person. Right hand... You never have to fight her, though. And O-Chunks farts a lot. I'm just going to tell you that now. It's kind of weird. Um, well, anyway, the shapeshifter's name is Mimi. Um, she wouldn't stop shapeshifting, but... She's basically a little girl, a little green girl with a square hair head that can turn into a spider. It's weird. Like, not only can she shape shift, but she has, like, this dark form where she can turn into a spider. It's weird. You'll see in Chapter 2. You actually have to fight her in Chapter 2, and you'll see then. But. Yeah, here's the first level. Lineland Road, I think it's called. If I recall correctly. And it's got music that sounds like the original Super Mario Brothers theme, which is amazing. I feel the pure heart. Okay then. Now when at the beginning of the game you don't have the ability to dash either. And what Tippy's explaining now is that you can point at the screen and click on something to give you a tip about it. That's what Tippy's job is. And Tippy follows you forever. But yeah, this is like an RPG in the fact that you have um, damage and health. Um, and you still uh, gain levels. And basically what you get for the level ups is basically um, every other level you'll get a different thing like it'll alternate between giving you um, health and attack power. So like the first level you'll get, um, I think it starts off with health and then you get an attack point and then you get health and then you get an attack point and it alternates like that for the entire game. It's not like the other Paper Mario's where you get a choice. Which I actually think this works well because you don't have any need for defense. Or badges. Um, and this is what's called a card. A catch card. And basically for every catch card that you have of an enemy, it will double the damage that you do to them. So like there I got a squiggle card which is those little pink square things that I killed one just before this, um, and my damage right now is 1, so for every card I have it doubles it, so I have, um, oh, my bad, um, so I do 2 damage to it now, if that makes sense, and if I had another card it would do 4, and then another one would be 8, and I think you get it. Yeah, that's another use of Tippy, she can find hidden platforms and doors. You don't have to use that that often, but, like, if you're ever in a dead end and you don't know what to do, either flip to 3D or, um, use Tippy to scan the room. This is Bustovius. Once again, he has a blockier figure. The edges are still rounded, but it's, it's still an overall blockier appearance. He tells you he's going to charge you 10,000 coins for the ability to go to 3D, but you don't want really to have to pay that. Just tell him no. Just tell him you'll pay him all the coins in your pocket, which is probably like 3 at this point, which I think it was for me. Yeah, that was really trippy. Anyway, um, he bestows upon you, like Bestovius, like bestowing you powers. That's how they came up with his name, I think. That's at least what my guess is. Um, but now when you press A, you can flip into 3D for a limited time. And I'd grab these items while you're here, because they're useful. 
But that little bar that you see under my health, if that runs out, I take one damage, uh, you return to normal, uh, 2D, and then you take, uh, yeah, you take one damage and you return to 2D and then the bar refills. So, like, at this point in the game, it's kind of a bad penalty since you only have 10 HP, but once you get to late, I'm gonna save this for security reasons, um, but, like, once you get to later in the game and you have, like, 50 HP, one HP isn't gonna matter that much. But see, there's that squiggle. I did two to it now. And if there's ever like a tall wall that you can't uh, clear, uh, your score is also your experience level, by the way. When your uh, score reaches certain points, um, you'll gain another level. So, just throwing that out there. Aw, oh, rats. And the mushrooms, as you can tell, don't turn you into Big Mario, they just heal you. And you can't pick up Koopa shells, which is not that big of a deal. And that is not a fire flower, it's a happy flower, which makes, as you can see, coins rain down from the sky. Um, the bigger the coin is, the more it's worth, like these small ones are worth one. And if I can ever find a, if a big one will ever appear. And if you fall down a gap like that, you don't die. You just take one damage, which is good. Uh, that's a nice way to gain coins. But see, like there, I couldn't go any further, but if I put 3D, there was another path. So, that's pretty much when you want to use 3D. And then what you saw there was a stylish move, which if you shake the Wii Remote after you jump on an enemy, doesn't matter which direction, just shake it around. Um, it gives you extra points, which is kind of cool. It helps you level up faster. Uh, this is a new item too, it's called the Pal Pills. It surrounds you with a bunch of 8-bit Marios that when they run into an enemy, they automatically do damage to it. It's damage, I believe they do damage equal to whatever your attack power is at the time. And also like in classic Super Mario uh, games, when you hit a platform from the bottom, it, oh, uh, it kills the enemy or does damage to it. Uh, this is a good place to show off one of the new items, Fire Burst. You shake the Wii Remote up and down until the bar fills, and then it attacks every enemy with six damage. Well, it's six one damage hits. That is really loud, but it gives you a lot of points. So the items in this game can come in handy a lot of times. That's another of those instances like the classic Mario games where you can um, just brand the shell up against the wall and get tons of points. But yeah, this is, um, cause since some enemies are only visible in 2D or 3D, if you're ever in one or the other, like if you're in 2D and you like hear an enemy but you can't see it, it's always a good idea to flip the 3D to see if you can find it and kill it to get some points. Since most enemies in this game aren't that difficult, like, Piranha Plants right now I can't kill, because I don't have any other attacks other than jump. But once I get other abilities that allow me to attack without jumping. Uh, this is a Mega Star, it's like a mixture of the Mega Mushroom and an Invincibility Star. It turns you giant and 8-bit. And it plays a little remix of the Invincibility theme. And then the regular version. But it turns you into a giant 8-bit version of yourself. And it's like the Mega, like I said, it's like the Mega Mushroom from New Super Mario Brothers. You can just crush everything in your path. You don't get one-ups for crushing tons of stuff, though. You just get lots of points. And those mark the end of levels, but I remember this level in particular. 
if you go into 3D and go back here, there's a chest with a catch card in it. So, And catch cards, if you can find them, are useful. They help you take down stronger enemies faster, which comes in really handy. But yeah, that's the end of the first level. And that ended with perfect timing. Um, but I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, if you did, give me five star views down below this video and subscribe to my videos up in the corner. Um, and yeah, I'll see you guys later.